I am tired of the narrative that continues to be pushed around LeBron James. I'm just done. Um, people like to call him a flopper. Uh, he's not Kobe Bryant. He's not. He's not Jordan. He's not. He's LeBron James. None of these players, in respect to Kobe Bryant, respect to Jordan, respect to all of these great players that have played before, and I'm sure there's going to be some great players that play after. LeBron James is done. But what he accomplished last week, or was it early this week? I'm not really sure. 39,000 points. He's going to end the season amassing over 40,000 points. He's the all-time minutes leader in NBA history combined with regular season and playoffs. Those two records telling you right now will never be broken again it's like the the joe dimaggio hitting streak nobody will nobody will hit that because the game's just different nick wright and shouts to nick wright he was on uh, i don't know if he was on first things first or he was on his individual you know personal podcast and he said if a guy averages 30 30 points for like 15 years they have a chance to be somewhere in the ballpark that's wild and even still they're short like what he done what what he has done you would literally like they I think he said that if Luca were to play another 11 years Luca would have to average like 34 a game every season and play X amount of games every season to get to that point. Same thing with Giannis. The same thing with any player right now. It's not going to happen. So what we're witnessing is something that probably is going to stand maybe for 50 or 60 years. Just like how the previous scoring record lasted a very long time because it's not a record that is easily attainable. You need certain things to work in your favor. One, you need to be extremely talented. That's one, right? That's the biggest thing, right? Two, you need to have longevity to play a long time in this game. Three, you need to be durable. For the majority of those years that you're playing. So we're not talking about that you're playing 50 games a season. No, you got to be logging 75, 77. You got to be able to play the bulk of your games every season. There's no load management. No load management, none of that stuff. And you got to make sure you bring it every year. Which one to you is more impossible? Scoring record or the minutes record? I would say, damn, I was both really. It, it that that's the answer. There there is no one over the other because obviously the scoring record is going to have more hollowed appreciation because of its scoring. Nobody really thinks about minutes. Like obviously minutes is a stat, but nobody really cares about it long term, right? Like we've seen guys like. Cal Ripken have the Iron Man Award of games played streaks and shit like that, right? Matters, but it mattered back then. I don't think it matters anymore because of modern medicine and all this load management shit. Like everything is different. Oh, you don't, you don't need to play forty minutes a game. You can play thirty two because that's the optimal amount of time that you. All this nonsense, all of this analytic bullshit that they do now, right? The fact that this man is going to have these records that will stand the test of time and people still find ways to throw shade. It's like, at this point, you need to really look yourself in the mirror and say, do I truly hate myself this much <laughs> to, to, to have to sit here and lie about how great this man is? My man, and shouts to my man, me and him have back and forth conversations all the time on IG. He's funny as hell. 
I want to read something to you. Because after he said this, I said, this is lengths that I've never seen anybody go to. But yo, I was speechless after this. He's a lawyer. He, he, he missed his calling. I'm going to go ahead and just, because it made me laugh. So we were talking about LeBron because he's a big Kobe fan. And let's see. <laughs> oh, man. So here has the conversation. Here, here's where the conversation started. So he said that Kareem never played on a separate team other than the Lakers. I said, that's wrong. That Kareem played for the Milwaukee Bucks. Won a championship with Oscar Robinson, then got traded to the Lakers. He demanded to go to the Lakers. He wanted out. I said, so, so don't put Kareem in that situation of, oh, you only play with one team. No, no, no. It's not right. Right? So he's like, hey, well, I don't respect guy. He hopped around the league. Right? So then he said, Ori won chips with how many teams? I said, Ori and LeBron James are not the same thing. Don't do that. No, right? Don't do that. So. So I said, remember what I said, finals MVP with three different teams. There have been many people to win in different places, but never be the guy at every stop to win in different phases of your career and win finals MVP. Nobody's ever done that. Nobody ever will do that again. So that's another one, right? I said, never will happen again. He, this is the line that this is why I know and when people truly hate LeBron, they they feel this because they it doesn't matter what it is, they will never give this man credit. He goes and says, MJ had six finals MVPs with six different teams. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm done. I'm done. Did he really say that? Yo. Yo, stop. When he said that, I had nothing. I said, yo, I ain't going to lie to you. That was the greatest line I ever heard anybody say to me as a, as a rebuttal. That was good. I said, I'm out of here. You you need to become a lawyer. Yo, people, that was crazy. People just want Jordan to be that guy. Yes. That's all they want. They just want, they don't want anyone to be better than nope. Jordan. Nope. Can't happen. Can't happen. So I found that extremely funny because it's like, yo, the lengths that people will go to just to discredit this man is amazing. It is truly amazing. It's so crazy that no one ever speaks about all the years that Jordan stunk it up. Yeah. I mean, technically, we're talking about playoff performances. Right. The man, right. man is great, yes. But yeah, it is. took him a very long time to win championships, but nobody remembers those. They only remember the six years of dominance. Right. Winning titles.